Hey lovies! Hey! What the Reg is up fam? If you're new here, my name is Tarian or TA. This is my husband Mike. Hi, I'm Mike. And uh, you're watching our channel. Oh my god, look at all the handprints on the mirror. Oh yeah. That's yeah. gross. Yeah, it's disgusting. I feel like we haven't opened a vlog together since we were just dating. Do you remember oh, we used really? to do this all the time? Yeah. Well, we used to not also have the other things going on. Like, if you open up the vlog, is all that we were doing at that moment. Yeah, that's right, all we were right doing. Right now, if you open it up, I'm probably doing a chore or taking a moment to myself to find, to relax for 13 seconds. Like, I know. It's there's, like there's no such thing as a... There's so much going on at all times, yeah. which brings me to this vlog. <laughs> um, today is Saturday, May 6th, 2023, and it is an exciting time because today we are taking photos for our pregnancy announcement. So all these vlogs are obviously going up after we announce our pregnancy, but today, at this point in time, no one knows I'm pregnant except for like my family and a few of my friends. Um, and so I reached out to the photographer who took photos for our bridal shower and for the baby shower, and we are going to the beach and we're gonna do a little sunset photo shoot um, the three of us to announce the pregnancy and the gender at all at the same time and uh, Yeah, I'm I'm really excited I've never been to this beach before and I've always wanted to do like a beach family photo shoot So I've never done that before either. So that should be exciting, but in true fashion We don't just do one big hectic thing in a day <laughs> We, we like to add another thing just to add a little razzle dazzle. Yes. You know? Yeah. So because we're. Because nothing should be easy. Oh, we, no, no. We have to make everything as difficult as possible. We're not just having a kid, we're also trying to buy a house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just oh, crazy. yeah. Just the two most stressful things uh, in an adult's life, we're doing it simultaneously. Rack and stack. Yeah. <laughs> So with that being said, a house came on the market that we really like. And I don't even know if I talked about the fact that we didn't get the other house. I don't know if I finished the vlog. I might have, but I'm not, I'm not positive. So a house came on the market, what, like, was that yesterday? And we were like, we really want to see it. Did it come on yesterday? Yeah, that was yesterday. Yeah. And so we were like, we really want to see it. And so we squeezed a showing in for lunchtime today. And we're going to go see that house before they have yeah. their open house tomorrow. tomorrow yeah so see the house and if we like it we will put in an offer if we don't we obviously it's, will not it's already at like the the precipice or the close to the top of our um our budget of our budget so we won't we won't get to go over, like i don't know if terry talked about it we went so over on the brick house on the houses that we've liked we've gone over on yeah for sure and but the brick house was like over by a lot but we didn't yeah we didn't really know it was our first offer we didn't really know a lot. i think i have a few ways we could probably make this one an appealing offer without waiving inspection but also still being like oh they might consider it even though it, it, we won't go like way over 30 over or something yeah but we might be able to do something or we still look like an appealing offer yeah so i don't know it, we might honestly be it might be rose colored glasses to think that an offer on this lower end could even win but you just never know like I, I was telling terry like it's a defeatist attitude to say oh there's no way we could possibly you just never know what the seller wants they might be they might only care about a certain number of things right um they might love so terry and i always do a letter for every one too mm -hmm. they might love the letter and be like oh we were we wanted to sell to somebody who's supposed to be their first home or their forever home or something you know what i mean right so it's just it's always worth giving a shot if you see something you like um, yeah why be negative you yeah. just never know. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll go in. If we like the house, we'll put in an offer. If we don't, none of this is even... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. So we're going to go do that <clears throat> at lunchtime today. And then we're going to get back and then get everyone ready for these photos. Obviously, Penny as well. Uh, so I just picked out her outfit. Um, and yeah, so we're pretty, we're pretty excited. It's going to be a pretty full day. So... I am going to kind of get started on the house. Mike is already starting for me. And he had breakfast, and so there's food on the floor that we need to sweep up. Mm -hmm. Gonna clean up the kitchen. Our bedroom is so crazy, you guys. I don't know how to explain to you what, the amount of laundry that needs to get done in this house. And so yeah, I'm gonna finish up laundry and put Penny's laundry away and all that kind of stuff. Um, Cause I don't need to look or like be like super cute for this house showing so i'm just gonna kind of focus on the house and then 
get into our day. Penny's in her pit. It's like almost never this clean because if she sees me cleaning it, she's like, oh my God, I remember that toy. And she'll take out all the toys out of the toy box and throw it all over the place. So I have to like neaten it up when she goes to sleep. So she hasn't yet pulled everything out. Right, baby? Oh, my sweet girl. What's that? Ugh, no. Okay. <coughs> yeah, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. You are so perfect. Oh, pretty girl. Yeah. Okay. So we've cleaned up the kitchen a bit, cleaned the food up off the floor and stuff like that, the, the dishes, whatever. Penny's now, oh, no, 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 no. Don't play the remote. Penny is now dressed to go see the house. Um, Mike just took his shower because we we're gonna be on a time crunch when we get back from seeing the house to get ready for the photo shoot. So Mike's all showered and he's about to do his hair. Penny is all dressed to go see the house. And um, I got some laundry done, which I'm excited about and I'm happy for. The bedroom is looking a little bit better as well. So I'm gonna go bring Penny into the room with me, quickly get dressed for this house showing because we're gonna leave in like half an hour and get our day started. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a long one. Good job, Penny. Good job, yay! Do you see how she's climbing up like a big girl? I know, she takes the full step. She takes the full step, she uses the railing. Hey, this way, right here. I mean, she likes that one too. That's fine, I'll meet her over there. Penny, you can't go down face first though. Close by in case she goes off the side? No, we're gonna let her keep going. Off the side? Oh, off the side? Oh. I don't think she's gonna go off the side of this. Let me just pause it then. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is now. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> 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 you didn't catch my baby! No. Yeah. Okay, guys, it's the next day. And I didn't get any footage except for this little bit of shaky footage from the photo shoot. Basically, um, we are at the park now, and Penny just got her first popsicle from the ice cream truck. It's our first ice cream truck experience. And she says, mmm, after every bite. <laughs> oh, spit it out, spit it out. She got the wood in her mouth. All right, so this is Mike and Penny's Super Bowl. <laughs> Mike has been taking Penny to the grocery store since she was approximately two months old. Oh my God, maybe even less than that. <laughs> maybe even less than that. She and he's... Have, I, th I think she was at one point, maybe three weeks old when I took her once. And he's wanted to use this ever since then. And basically there's a little shopping cart 
for little babies at this grocery store and Penny is finally old enough we hope to use it and we only need one thing so we're gonna see Penny push the cart uh-oh oh this is bigger than I thought it would be oh, yeah. <laughs> all right Penny oh it might be too tall <laughs> oh no, next year. No, no, you can try. Push I think, it. She, she, I think she can push it. I think it might be too big. <laughs> Unfortunately, you have a big distance to get. <laughs> she doesn't care. All right. Next year. Next year. Next year. Next year. Okay, so I'm going to quickly explain to you what happened yesterday because it was a little chaotic at the park. So, uh,. We had a great time yesterday. It was kind of crazy though. We got out there, it was in the middle of nowhere. We didn't have service. Oh my God. And we got there like an hour early so that we could find food to eat before the shoot and get Penny in a good mood. Thankfully we brought all these snacks as well because we got out there, we had no service. Um, the maps wouldn't load to even find a restaurant nearby and there weren't there wasn't any place to eat close to the beach. So we would have had to travel into this town that we didn't know how to get around. Um, and so it was kind of a mess. So we ended up not getting any food, sitting in the parking lot waiting for the photographer who got there on time. And once she was there, everything went very smoothly. Penny was like a little bit uncooperative, but I'm pretty sure we got some shots of her smiling. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of individual shots of me and then some shots of Mike and some cute uh, moments of myself and Penny and Mike and Penny. Um, the park was really big, so I asked Huge. for, yeah. So I asked for beach photos and the park had castles and it had like uh, sunken gardens. Gardens, yeah. yeah. And then it had like this big vast area, like this field by the water. Uh, with this big beautiful random tree in it. So it's like a whole cleared field and then one big tree that was like blooming big pretty pink flowers and um, I took some pictures there and as I like talk through this I'm gonna insert photos because by the time this vlog comes out I have already announced the pregnancy so the photos are all done so I think I, I think we got some really good ones she showed me like as she was taking photos she showed me um, some of the pictures that she was taking and they were looking amazing and this is them yeah. that was them like completely unedited so we took photos before sunset all around the park like at the sunken gardens and at the castles and in the field and then when sunset started we made our way to the beach and took some more photos there and I think I'm gonna really like how they come out I love Lucy she photographed our bridal shower and the baby shower and she always does a really good job and she's so nice and everything so um other than that we are it was really good afterwards we left um the park and we went to eat we went to longhorn steakhouse and we ate there with penny got her something to eat it was a really long night i did not expect this but we didn't get home until 10 30 at night uh which by the way like penny's what is this person doing? Penny's bedtime is typically 7.30. Like we put her to bed to sleep. So we really pushed her to her limit yesterday. Yeah. Um, but it was just, it's just an hour away from where we are. And then we stopped to eat to make sure that she had like, cause we had skipped eating before the photos. Um, so we stopped to eat and that took a little while. And then, so it was just, but we did plan well for her because after we went to eat, we brought her into the car, changed her diaper, and we brought a nice cozy onesie pajamas so that she could sleep in the car. And so she did sleep for the whole hour ride on the way home, and then we got home at like 10.30, and we gave her a big bottle, and she passed out, but she woke up at seven, so, you know. No, it wasn't quite seven. Uh, it oh. was closer to eight, it was more like 7.45 or 7.45, eight. okay, so she, she woke up at like, yeah closer to 8 a.m. Yeah. but I thought she was going to sleep until like 9 o'clock yeah and I was like she we were all so tired like we were beat after that day it was like physically exhausting so we are gonna go and I need to help get us all out but I think that's really gonna be it for this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it um I know it was a little bit all over the place and a little bit scattered but that is life right now 
um, just an update. Today is Sunday, so I'm officially 14 weeks pregnant. I'm really excited. Next Sunday, we are announcing the pregnancy. It's also Mother's Day, and I'm so excited for everyone to finally know that I am pregnant with another little girl, and um, it's just an exciting time in life. So.